Esports Boxing Club brings you the greatest fight roster in video game history. With over 200 fighters already signed, we've got some of the biggest and most anticipated the names. Of all time. From the absolute legends of the sport to the most exciting names in boxing today. The first women's division ever represented in a video game. And the hottest new talent. Let's take a closer look at the next gen visuals and gameplay that are set to make ESBC the greatest of all time. It's good, it's definitely one for the grandkids and stuff to say. Like your old granddad was in a game and busting people up, so aye, it's, uh, it's going to be quite cool. So the movement system in ESBC is all about fluidity, being able to create angles, recreating mannerisms from boxes. The physics system doesn't just rely on animation, this allows us to recreate realistic knockdowns. Even when a fighter is unsteady on their feet, it's not purely animation based. Now we've had professional boxers, professional coaches come into the studio and provide input through motion capture and actually reviewing the game during its development. And now we really feel like we've created a true representation of the sport. Presentation is important to us. We're still going to aim high when it comes to production values. Esports Boxing Club coming to PC and all major consoles with early access in 2021. So one of the standout features within ESBC is the movement system that we've developed. Uh, here you can see David Adelaide getting himself out of danger by throwing a nicely timed check hook. That in itself is a, is a new feature with regards to the punch control. That means you have complete freedom in terms of your fighting strategy, fighting off the front foot, back foot, and also pivoting yourself out of danger with check hooks using the pressure of your opponent uh, to your advantage. So within these clips you can see the physics system in action. Not every punch will be 100% accurate. Some punches will glance off arms, gloves, chest, and you can kind of see that with the jabs that have been thrown. Here you can see David fighting off his back foot, throwing a, a back foot jab and a back foot straight. Hi guys, this is Ethan. I'm a gameplay programmer here at SCI and I'm here to talk to you about the uh, feint system. So the feint system can be activated by using the same button as block, but instead of holding it down, you just tap it. So you can do a feint while you're throwing a punch, while you're throwing a lunging punch. Uh, you can use it to interrupt your punch altogether and just throw a different punch completely. So you can see here in this clip that I'm throwing a, a leaping left hook to the body. Uh, I cancel the punch after I've done part of the animation, and I transfer into doing a left uppercut to the head. So this is useful for mixing it up with your opponents so they can expect one attack from you, but you actually do a different attack instead. Hi, I'm Andy Turner. I'm the art director at SCI. I uh, thought I'd just give you a quick overview of uh, animation systems. So our, our movement system was really fast and fluid. Uh, we wanted to get away from the sort of standard sort of clip based animation uh, where you kind of like loop clips to 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 put movement together it just looks a bit robotic to me so we've got a new system where it it isn't done like that it's much more performance based so that's really good because when the professional boxers come in they can just they can just do what they do best they know how to move we're not we're not telling them how to move they do the movement based on what they would really do uh, in a fight. Um, we have our own motion capture studio so that they can come in and we can just let them do their thing within, within certain constraints that we give them um, so that we can capture the, the best parts of their movements, uh, their traits and all their, their punches and um, blocks and, and movesets. They're all captured here. There's no traditional animation as such, it's all motion captured. So the adrenaline system was introduced because we wanted something more than just a stamina bar depleting. We wanted there to be the element of really going after a fighter if you think they're in trouble or, or if you just want to get them out quickly. 
So what the adrenaline system does is once your heart rate reaches a certain uh, BPM, your stamina will max out. But as you can see here, the downside to that is your maximum stamina reduces uh, significantly. There's also a cooldown timer on this. So you have to really pace your fights. Otherwise, you could end up being gassed out after three or four rounds. So the counter punch system works really well with the movement, uh, as well as the range of punches available, uh, whether it's front foot, back foot, or to the side. So we've done away with mini games in ESBC. Um, this corner scene is, is still very early in terms of what's going to be shown, but essentially the quality of your corner team will determine how much you recover. So we wanted fight stances to really make a difference uh, in terms of what you decide to have for your fighter. As an example, the Philly shell will block certain body punches. So rather than uh, you having to always press block to block a certain type of punch, um, you can let your stance do some of that for you. Each stance will have a pro and a con to balance things out. We'll be releasing a career mode video in the future, um, but here are a few aspects that we can share in this video. So this is the promoter screen. Um, this is where you'll sign with the promoter for a certain number of fights. The promoter aspect is, is important within the career mode because it will determine uh, how fast you can climb the rankings table, how quickly you can get a world title shot, your popularity, uh, and also when you're negotiating uh, a fight. So the negotiation screen is impacted by your promoter, everything from the percentage split through to whether the fight is at home or away, things like the, the training camp is in your control, that'll impact your finances. Uh, but we've also added a few uh, gameplay elements such as having injury insurance should you get injured uh, or should the opponent get injured uh, in, the, in the lead up to the fight. Uh, there's also a rematch clause, but whether you're ranked higher or lower than the fight that you're going for will determine the chances of success. So this is the opponent statistics screen. Um, once your fight negotiation has been successful, you can go and check out your opponent's stats. But what's available will be determined by how good your coach is. So if you have a high ranked coach who has skills uh, in, in the areas that are required, then you'll be able to see your opponent's strengths and weaknesses and his ratings. Um, so you need to have a good coach to be able to see your opponent's statistics. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. We hope it's given you more of an insight into how ESBC plays. As I said at the start, everything you've seen is in alpha. We know there's some funky things happening in the game right now. We've got to work on environments, crowd, the character models, the punches, the movement, everything. So uh, nothing's final, but hopefully it's given you a good indication with regards to the direction we're heading. Thank you for watching and keep an eye out on our social media channels for the launch of the next ESBC Fighter announcement show.